guys, Cindy Otter here with My Artsy Endeavors. Guess what? I'm so excited. It's done. This journal is complete. It's done. Yay! Okay. This journal, just give you a little bit of um, background on it. This was the very first art journal I ever started. I know. You're like, what? Yeah, this was the very first one. So what you're going to see in here is the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> there are some pages in here. I look at it now, and I so bad want to just gesso over them and redo them. But I'm not going to because all of this is a process of my journey. And um, it's going to show you where I came from and, you know, where I've went to. So I'm really, really excited. So, of course, we start out with this envelope that I have never, ever used. I don't think I've ever even opened it. Never done anything to it. Nothing on the cover. And here we go. This is my journey through <clears throat> this journal. Um, some pages are just totally different than others. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I sketched her back in 2014. She was one of my first girls that I sketched. <laughs> I like the lips. I'm not fond of the eyes. I like the lips, and the nose isn't bad, but... Ay, ay, ay. It is what it is. It's going to stay there. Um, this looks like I just did a lot of playing with backgrounds, and this says gratitude. I don't know. This guy here. I really like this one. This one's really cool. I just sat and started playing one night, and that's where she ended up. That's what happens when you have insomnia. <laughs> that, that was fun. This girl here, um, I don't know what to say about her hair, is um, deli paper that I glued together and then I put um, different paint over it, paint washes. I crumpled it all up and then I put paint washes over it. So her hair is made of deli paper and washi. I don't know. Sharpie inspiration strikes. Apparently I colored her with a sharpie. That's a stamp of someone's. I don't know who. Be yourself. This was an ad that I saw in a newspaper cut it out and I just I thought it was really cool because you know everybody is so different and it's like yeah you got to be yourself here's a little tag um <laughs> boy this is old this is really fragile too and there's a teddy bear <laughs> this says trust your heart let your art blossom art equals happiness That's some kind of a puffy something up there, and this is texture paste. Just fun. Just a lot of fun. Those are flowers. That's what they're supposed to be. I love this. This is called this is called Success to the Sisters. <laughs> I just had a blast playing with this page. These ladies came out of a magazine. And then I just decided to <laughs> paint over them. Ah, they're just too funny. This is Breathe. Um, yeah, this one I did a long time ago, too. January of 2014. No date on this one. Apparently that's all I felt it needed. This one's beautiful, home sweet home. This is stuff I cut out, apparently. This, it's all, it's thick, so I'd say that was a piece of cardstock that had the word beautiful um, cut out in it. Curious. Huh, very interesting. This was a piece of art that somebody had sent me a while back and I just I wouldn't I didn't want to do anything to it so I I just put it in here. This is a lesson. Um I think it was True Free Spirit, I think was the class name with Minnie Lacefield. I believe that's her name. 
This is a Mod Podge. Again, this is when I first started. Um, I just wrote, Journey is a Destination, Messy and Beautiful. This was cut out of something. Um, Naomi's Studios. This was actually a picture that I made a copy of my grandma, Naomi, Naomi Ruth. And at one point I was considering, um, instead of Artsy Endeavors, I was considering Naomi's uh, studio. Um, it says, making memories and healing through my art. Discovering who I am in memory of Grandma Naomi. I wish I could have met her. Um, she actually passed away when my mom was three months pregnant for me. So, I never did get to meet her. She was a beautiful lady from everything I've understand about her. These you guys have seen on video. Um, the sunflowers and then the kindness and peace. Ha! Ah, this page. <laughs> I don't know what it is. This is a Mod Podge. You know what? I want to go turn that other light on. Hang on just a second. Because it doesn't look as bright on camera. That's a little better. Um, yeah, this was back when I very first started doing art. I, I have no idea. I, I'm assuming I drew her because of the eyes. Um, it's just kind of a little bit of texture paste here and there. This is looks like a piece of cardstock I cut out. Some stamps. Gel pens. I have no idea what this guy is. <laughs> I haven't a clue. So, all right. This one you guys saw on video. This is actually Gina Aaron's sketch that she had sent to me, and I made a page for her. I thought she was pretty. This is a um, picture out of a magazine, so it's a collage, and then I just painted over her made her into a purple girl. That was back in 2015. Gina Aaron design team. That was a design team in June probably, May or June. This was one of the very first videos that I um, that I recorded and back then I couldn't figure out <laughs> <laughs> how to make it into a video to put somewhere else so I don't even know what happened to that recording but this was the very first video I ever did and that was back in December of 2014 like I said it never did come out um don't know this is in March of 2014 apparently I just had fun playing with some stencils and then I got this postcard here that I made or index card I made and there it is it's a beautiful day and you know I look at these this could be one of those journals that is forever not done because there is so much more I can do to these pages but at this point I'm choosing not to I'm going to leave them as is because it is all part of my art journey so they're gonna stay just the way they are this one you guys saw in video design your life this one was interesting until I put all this paint on it. Um, and this was quite a few, uh, back in 2014. This girl I drew, but then I made everything here out of the inside of envelopes. All of these, um, these are all inside of envelopes. So it was kind of cool. I don't know what happened with the paint. I have no idea. Again, this is just a play journal, so that's what was happening. Um, apparently I was playing with new stencils. Decided not to go any further. There she be. This video I had up for a short time, but then something was wrong with my video, so I had to, ended up having to take it down, and I just never got re around to re-editing it. But this is a, this is a current, you know, this year page. I had fun doing this. I just had fun with these ladies. Kitty cat. Um, 
Again, this was one of the very first pages I ever did. I have no idea. Um, there's so much that needs to be done to it, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to leave it. This was done in March of 2014. This page. Don't know. Just had fun. It is what it is. I found this in a magazine. This was where I had cut a bunch of stuff out of cardboard and I put that down. And I found this little doll in a magazine and I just fell in love with it. And I stuck it on here with the intent to do more to it. And it's just stayed the way it is and I don't plan on changing it. So there she is. Um, this is some type of a texture paste. Apparently I was going to do fish. And the fish are kind of weird. This one needs an eye. We'll give him an eye and this one needs an eye. Um, yeah, the fish are kind of weird. Huh. I started to draw a, uh, what do you call this, jellyfish right there, apparently. This is done with stamps. All of this work is stamps. Different. You guys have seen this one. This one is on video. I had a lot of fun doing this page. This has got fabric in it and just all kinds of texture. It's really cool. This funky paper and cardboard. It's just really cool. It was fun doing that page. Um, this was a years ago page. I was playing with the um, dilution sprays and then apparently I made a whole bunch of flowers using brads. So all these have brads in the middle of them. And then I was just using whatever to cut out for stems, I guess. But again, this was years ago. There's no there's no date on this, so I'm not sure when it was. But interesting. Haha. <laughs> These guys are sisters. This, their hair. <laughs> I just laugh when I see these pages. Um, my sister is a, a cake decorator at a, one of the major grocery stores here. And she ha she does a lot of airbrushing. And when she does the airbrushing, she has to have these little towels that she cleans her airbrush off on. So I told her one day, I'm like, sis, don't throw those away. Bring them to me. So she brought me a whole bunch of them. And I decided, I guess, that they needed airbrush hair. I don't know. And I just called them sisters. I don't know. Um, this is one that you saw recently on my Instagram. Apparently that's not glued down enough. Uh, this was a lot of fun to make. These flowers were actually, I cut them out of scrapbook paper. Um, and then I put them down and then I just did a lot of, um, you know, work to them as far as adding the blue and the lighter greens and that kind of stuff. This was fun. And the coolest designers on the planet. Flowers. I enjoyed This was one with just my play. I just had to unstart playing. And that's what this was. Um, art. Says it all, I guess. Um, again, playing with paints. Just sitting down, playing, enjoying what I was doing. Not really thinking about it. Um, the art is, I put a bunch of um, glitter glue all along the art and let it dry. So again, this is just playing, having fun not really thinking about anything. Knowing me, I was probably watching like Criminal Minds or something like that, NCIS or whatever when I was doing this. Two more of my drawings. I love her. I absolutely love her. I just, I, I, I love the way this whole page turned out. I think it's fantastic. So she was a more recent. This was in 2015. I was still working on the drawing. <laughs> You wait to see some of these in here. They're just, I laugh when I see them. Make sure I'm not skipping pages. All right. Believe in Love. I like this page. This was done in September of 2015. A lot of fun. This um, was one of my very first, uh, this was in July of 2014. And it says, it is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. And to be honest with you, I was doing a wipe off and I she just came out of nowhere. So, um, I don't know. This was how it ended up. 
This one's uh, recent. Matter of fact, this was the last page I did in this journal. Um, so here she is. I had a lot of fun doing this. And actually, um, I'd have to go grab it. This, this, this page was done by getting inspiration from... Um, I showed you guys before, I have a composition notebook that's full of pages of um, things that are come out of Art Journal, the magazine. And this was in, this was inspired by one of those, and this was inspired by the other, and I just kind of threw them both together. And there they are. She's kind of got a square face, that's all right. I was going to make her actually a square head, but it didn't happen. So, But yeah, this is just me playing, um, just sitting down, throwing on a Netflix, and just just playing having fun this guy this one <laughs> and this says and so the adventure begins I had a lot of fun with this page and I kept them black and white intentionally um, I didn't want them to you know suck into the background I, I wanted them to stand out the way they are so that's cool um, I have no idea it says just play and have fun that's what life is all about so apparently I've been saying that for quite a while because this was a long time ago and there's no date on it. So I have no idea how long that was. <laughs> I love these girls. I laugh every time I see them. I call these the sisters too. Um, <laughs> as you can tell, <laughs> oh, I just have to laugh. <laughs> her eyeballs on the side of her head and I don't know what's up with those lips <laughs> ah, I love them though they're great I mean it just it shows me <laughs> my journey of where I've come from and uh, you know <laughs> I just laugh but anyways these are the sisters <laughs> oh god I like this. This is, uh, I believe, a monthly challenge. Um, it was used black and white in another color. I had a lot of fun doing this one. Just fun to play and make marks. Really cool. This came out of a magazine. I'm not sure what else I did to her. Um, she's got an arm here. Stuff. I don't know. This page is just interesting in its own right. I don't... It was interesting. I'm not sure what all happened to it. I don't know if I just didn't finish over here. I don't know. But it's going to stay the way it is. I'm not going to do anything with it. Um, enjoy nature's beauty. This is my son. That's my granddaughter Haley and of course me. And this is just all magazine backgrounds that I cut out and put down and enjoy nature's beauty. We had a fun day that day. Um, this is another lesson, True Free, True Free Spirit by Mindy Lacefield. That was fun. This is all done with um, inside of envelopes and it says not everything is black and white and all of these if you notice oh, no, those two are the same. I thought I had them all with different patterns. No, oh, those two are the same. But, um, yeah, that's what inspired this was the inside of the envelopes. Not everything's black and white. Um, there's no words on this page. Don't know, just had fun playing. Playing with the Dilution uh, stamps and kitty cat. and just, just playing, having fun. This is another collage slash paint slash whatever. Um, I don't know. Two dimensional butterfly here. Or three dimensional. Um, this is just those um, clear sticker things here. Bus, I have no idea why. I don't know. This is just, again, this is a play journal. This is where I just have fun playing and don't worry about anything else. Huh, this is my aquarium. <laughs> I must have been uh, doing something with... I had a lot of fishy stuff going on. But, um... Yeah. These are my fish. Huh. This page is very textury. You can feel all the different um, paints and stuff on it. It's very touchy-feely. Um, this you guys saw. 
just, I don't remember if this was a, I don't remember, a challenge or whatever it was. It was fun, fun to play. My kid and I, I have no idea. Apparently I had decided to do more on this and I never did. Um, me and my boy. Hmm. Again, this is another one of those pages that I'm not going to do anything to because apparently I left it this way for a reason. And I don't know if it's she's looking around the corner to the brick wall or I don't know. But um, that's going to stay there. As is. <laughs> you guys have all probably seen this one. <laughs> I had so much fun doing this. Um, basically what this is, is um, I had found a, a Picasso um, print in um, a reuse shop. I actually found six of them. They were all the same print and they were all laminated. So I picked five other artists and I sent them each one. And I had them all do a piece inspired by that Picasso. And this was my video that I did that to. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, it was so much fun. My baby girl, Haley, looking like a tiger. She had that on maybe five minutes and then wanted it off. It was itching her. <laughs> this piece came in, a, um, in mail. Um, I can't remember who did it. But I know it was on an envelope, so um, it was too beautiful to throw away. So I got it out and put it in this book. It's not there forever. I have another book that's got one in it, too, somewhere. Um, you guys saw this. This is all watercolor color slash paint slash clear gesso slash whatever. That was just fun. Just playing. Another one of those I just want to play in my journal. So I did. Um, this guy, just using a lot of, um, papers and fabrics and textures and buttons and lace. Just had fun. This picture is Gina's. Um, this is one of her paint, one of her paintings actually. And it was just on a picture. So, um, I decided it needed a, a home. So here it is. And then it says, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So I'm just leaving that as is. This gal cut her out of a newspaper. And I had all this stained glass from a calendar or something. And I just decided that she belonged on this page with that. This is another play. It says, peace. Inspire, create, joy, smile, love, live, breathe, faith, and learn. Again, just another page I'm playing with. Um, this came out of a magazine. And then I took a book of paper <laughs> and I made a story out of this. And let me tell you, this makes no sense. But this is what we talk about when we talk about finding um, random poetry. Okay, it says, the first step out, I started very methodically doing things to be in order. I began running out of the same thing. Next came one last look at the old portrait. The time to carefully maneuver, really, really going lovely, but I only half listened. Interesting, huh? Um, this is texture paste. More texture paste. This was fun. This was a long time ago. That was in 2016 I did this page. This was done in 17. Um, this was to use coloring book. These are all coloring book pieces. So that's what that's all about. This is my um, 12 shades of gray paint. This was the test picture that I did with it. And let me tell you, my husband loves these paints. He's been using a lot of them on his uh, his journaling. This is just a picture of a sketch that had come to me um, from Gina. And I had already had this page made. And I, just, I had done this all with washi tape. And I was just waiting for something to go there. And I thought that looked really well there. So that went there. 
Look inside. Is there something you would like to leave behind in 2014? So that tells you when I did this one. Um, what I'm leaving behind is debt, negativity, fear, need to prove, low self-esteem, pain, criticism, self-doubt. Interesting. This is home sweet home. These are just some wonky flowers and these are some wonky houses. This was fun. Just play. It was interesting. Home, the warm and cozy happiest place of all. Again, just playing. This was collage. There's no date on this one. This was quite a while ago. This page I really, really like. And I have yet to figure out who these people are. I still don't know what this comic is. And I want to know because I want more of these people. But, um, yeah. This one I did on camera. Of course, I didn't date it. Um, but this was cool. This was fun. Another fun page. Just play, I think. This guy's on top of the world. These two pages, I have no idea. This is done on a handmade paper, and this has got a lace thing on it, and... I don't know. It's stuck here. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. And this, um, this looks like it's never been finished. And at this point, it's not going to be. But uh, this is a recipe page. Pineapple salad, pineapple Waldorf salad, coleslaw, and cabbage coleslaw. I don't know. I think I had intended to come back and do something with those. I don't know. But at this point, I'm not. This is play. Just playing with colors, playing with modeling paste, playing with some different papers, um, just having fun playing. This was a long time ago. This was in April of 2014. It says, Believe in Faith. And then my last page, just funky flowers. This guy with little balloons. I don't know. There it be. The end. How cool is that? I'm so excited. I am so excited that it's finished. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed my flip through. Um, I hope it gives you a little bit of um, just inspiration to take these journals and just play in them. That's what it's for. Um, our journaling is not about making the perfect page every single time. That's not what art journaling is about. And I think if you find that you um, work in your art journal consistently, you get the practice and you're going to get better. Um, it's all about repetitive. You know, you don't have to use the same colors, that kind of stuff, but just keep creating. And just, just don't be afraid to just play around in your journal and just do whatever strikes you at that moment. You know, apparently this was all I was thinking about at this moment. Is this brick wall behind her and her? I, I don't know. But just take your time. Enjoy playing in your journals. Have fun with it. Um, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. Bye.